All right, welcome to section 6.4. The name of this section is rational expressions. Notice the word rational has the word ratio in it. So the first example here, and what does this all mean, is kind of right here in this next, next uh, 30 seconds. It's 8 to the 2 thirds power. So instead of 8 squared or 8 cubed or 8 whatever, it's to a exponent, which is 2 thirds. So what does this mean? Well, there's a little song to help you out with this. All the students know the exponents E, I, E, I, O. All the students know the exponents E, I, E, I, O. That means the top is the E, that's the exponent. The bottom of the fraction is the index. So the denominator is the index and the numerator is um, the exponent. So that means that we can think of this two ways. We can think of it as the cube root of 8, because that's your index there, and then squared. This is probably the easier way to think about it, because you're going to take the cube root and then square it, making the number smaller and then making the number bigger. Or you could think about doing 8 squared and then taking the cube root of that answer. So it's 8 squared, take the cube root, or it's the cube root of 8 squared. No matter how you slice it or dice it, you get the cube root of 8, which is 2 squared, is 4. Or if you have 64, the cube root of 64 is also 4. There is the basic part of this. Now let me grab a colored paper here. and We'll just make up a problem. Um, let's find a number on here that we like. Uh, let's do 3125. 3125. So we have 3125 to the 4 fifths power. So I'm going to take the fifth root of 3125 and then I'm going to raise it to the fourth power. So here's 3125 and the fifth root of that would be. 5, and then we're going to raise 5 to the 4th power. Well, 5 to the 2nd, 5 to the 3rd, 5 to the 4th power. That's 625. There's another way to think about this problem, and that is uh, 3125, 3125 is essentially made up of 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So five fives multiplied together is 3,125, and I want four-fifths of them, so that means I want these. So I want four out of the five. Well, four out of the five would be five times five times five times five, which is uh, 625. So that's another way to think about it. Okay, here are the examples. Uh, the first example is real straightforward. It's the fourth root of 625. So it's the 4 through to 625 raised to the first power. Well, 5 times 5 times 5, actually we just did that up there, is 625. Or the 4th root is 5. So 5 times 5, 4 times together, is 625. And then you'd raise it to the first power, which is just 5. The next one, we're going to multiply 12 to the 1 half times 12 to the 1 half. There's actually two ways to think about this problem. When you multiply like bases, you always add the exponents, so you can think about it as 12 to the first power. Or, if you have uh, like exponents, you can multiply the bases, so it would be 144 to the 1 half power. Well, that means the square root of 144, or 12 to the first, either how you slice it or dice it, is 12, so the answer is 12. The next one if you multiply the like bases, you add the exponents. I can't do that because they're not like bases. But since the exponents are the same, I can multiply the bases. So I have to do 12 times 18, which is uh, 216 to the 1 third power. So when the exponents are the same, you multiply the bases. 216. The cube root of 216 is 6. If you, if you don't know, you can look on here. Cube root 216 is 6. So you're in the third column, 216, the cube root is 6. And it'd be 6 to the first power, which is just plain 6. All right. Uh, one of the things that, that's talked about in this section is radical form versus exponent form. Radical form has the radical symbol in it. Exponent form has the um, exponent in it. So the very first thing I wrote down on the other page was 8 to the 2 thirds power. So 
remember this means uh, index and that means exponent, E I E I O. So we can write uh, a radical symbol, index is 3, and then 8 squared. So there it is in radical form, here it is in exponent form. Uh, we could do x to the 6 with a 7 there. So that's a 6. And so we have the 6th root of x to the 7th. Remember, this is the index, that's the exponent. So we could write it as 7, or x, sorry, and then to the 7, 6. So the index goes on the bottom of the fraction, and the exponent goes on the top of the fraction. Next example is simplify. So we're going to simplify these together. So I'm going to rewrite it. There's an invisible one here, and there's an invisible one there. So I can rewrite this as 10 to the 1 sixth power times 10 to the 1 third power. When you multiply like bases, we add the exponents together. So essentially, all you're doing is adding 1 6 plus 1 third. So 1 6 plus 1 third is 1 6 plus 2 6. 2 out of 6 is the same thing as 1 out of 3. I need it to look this way because I need the common denominator to add my fractions. So I get 3 6. So this is the same thing as 10 to the 3 6, which is 10 to the 1 half. Or in radical form, it would just mean square root of 10. Square root of 10 is the same thing as 10 to the 1 half power. Whoops, it went off the board there a little bit. So you, we add the fractions because we have like bases. And we're adding the two fractions. We get 3 out of 6, which is the same thing as 1 half. Square root of 1 half means the same thing as, or excuse me, 10 to the 1 half means the same thing as square root of 10. Simplify. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is cross the line, change the sign. So a negative exponent doesn't mean negative number. Negative exponent means fraction. So it's going to be 1 over 32 to the 1.2 power. Now, I said that incorrectly. It's not 1.2. It's 1 and 2 tenths. Then we can make that 1 and 1 fifth. Now we're going to go... Um, improper because we need the two numbers. We need the E and the I. So 1 times 5 is 5 plus the 1 on the top makes 6. So it's 6 fifths. So we have 1 and 32 and then to the 6 fifth power. All the students know the exponents E, I, E, I, O. So the index is 5. So I'm taking the fifth through to 32 which is just 2. So this turns into 2 to the 6th power. So the fifth root of 32 is 2. Now we do um, 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, 8, times 2, uh, 16, times 2, 32, times 2, 64. So this is 1 over 64, 1 64th. OK, and the last example that I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this. This would be an actual uh, expression because it has like the variables in it. And again, we're going to cross the line, change the sign. So we get 1 over 27x to the 6th, y to the 9th, to the 1 3rd power. So everything in here is to the 1 3rd power, or the cube root of everything, essentially. So it's 1 over cube root of 27, because that's what the index is 3, raise it to the first power, so it's 3. When you have an exponent raised to an exponent, it's 6 times a third. So you're going to get x squared. And then the same thing, y. 9 times 1 third is 3. All right. So we just distributed this cube root idea. Cube root of 27 is 3. 3 1 third times the 6 is 2. 1 third times the 9 is 3.